We're here in the middle of nowhere with one of the most popular car on Indian roads, but we're here off-road. Okay, bad joke to start the show with, but what I'm trying to get at is that while the XUV700 from Mahindra is one of the most popular cars, it was the most anticipated, and now it yet is one of the more popular ones because of that long wait time. It is an absolute pleasure to drive. You've seen tons of reviews since its launch, but another reason it's the OG is because of ADAS. What is ADAS? A technology which is well embedded in this particular vehicle. And honestly, we've been driving this on the highways, we've been driving it in the by lanes of Bandra and all over Mumbai city. And it is a fascinating technology. Well, I honestly feel with great power comes great responsibility. And I know that that's not just a superhero quote, but it does apply to a heavily tech-loaded car like this one. You have all those features and you need to use them responsibly. So we want to actually drive this car, show you how amazing those features can be, and then tell you about how ADAS is at level two right now, but in the days to come, and with so many foreign manufacturers coming to India, it is going to be a technology of the future. This car, being the OG, has taught us exactly how you can use it to your advantage. And that's what I want to show you on this episode of Tech Today. All right, so we're here on the highway to really bust all these myths about ADAS. And in the best vehicle, as a use case for ADAS, the XUV700, one of the first vehicles in the 20 to 30 lakh range a few months ago that came with this feature. Now, I always think that with great power comes great responsibility. The same applies to tech in all these big boy toys as well. You have the power, you have the resources, but you decide how you are going to put them to use. It's the same with these AI systems like ChatGPT. You need to be responsible with the use of all this powerful tech. There's a lot of powerful tech over here. How does ADAS work? Let's break it down. As a system, it takes in several data inputs, maybe from the camera, from the radar as well. This particular vehicle is far more advanced than others. It comes with that radar sensing. Sonar, when you're talking about that sort of data coming in, then artificial intelligence does the work. The algorithm is at play and the car with a very smart computer in common parlance makes things happen for you. Now, seat belt on, all the safety features on and glasses on for me as well because I need to focus when I'm geeking out with some of these features. Now, I put adaptive cruise control on. If we look at the vehicle ahead of us, you'll see that the car begins to slow down as we are nearing the object. Well, we've seen those on the highway as well. Another good thing that this car does is if you see the speed limit sign right here, it says 60. And the minute we pass that sign, right here you see 60 showing up as well, that that's your speed limit. That's the kind of high-end tech on display in the XUV700 and we're quite happy about that. There's a lot of features which can augment your driving experience because your body is always stressed, your mind is always stressed. And if you have these features and you use them the right way, responsibly, this is going to become the norm in the market. As the level of automation increases and you have complete self-driving, I want to robust that myth because people say that these aren't very useful features at this point and maybe it's well ahead of its time. I don't think so. Honestly, if you're driving this car on the highway, it's an absolute pleasure to drive. But with these features, it does take away a lot of your stress. And you can focus on the drive, ensure that you are safe. The good thing with this particular vehicle is it comes with the highest level of safety ratings, five on the end cap test. So all in all, you have a safe vehicle with all these tech features. And that is what we want to talk about today on the show. Another feature I want to talk about is active lane keep assist and you can have a warning only or a warning and active assist. Let me show you how. So the minute you cross 60 kilometers per hour, active lane keep assist is turned on and I start deviating. It starts beeping. The car has come back into this particular lane and I'll show you again. I'm drifting away, I'm drifting away and the car has course corrected 
by itself. Add to this the cruise control function and this is a very powerful piece of tech. Let me just halt on the left and explain a few things that just happened over there. Adaptive cruise control is on so the car maintained the speed which we had set initially for this particular drive. Also the tech in the car was following the car ahead of me and actually managing to maintain the speed. Along with active lane keep assist, the minute I started swaying away from my lane, the car started course correcting. So this, according to me, is that particular piece on with great power comes great responsibility because they've empowered you with some brilliant tech. And kudos to the engineering and tech teams at Mahindra for this because it's absolutely mind-blowing that a car at this price point comes with such high-end tech. All right, when you're talking about cruise control, adaptive cruise control in the XUV700, there's basically three modes. What makes it adaptive? You've seen cruise control in several cars. But there, you essentially set a speed and then you follow it. Here, it adapts, bases the car or object ahead of it. Now, adaptive cruise control also goes in override and it's automatically braking when it's seeing other vehicles ahead of me. Now, I'm setting a cruise control speed of 30 kilometers per hour, but it has sensed that the bike ahead of me is driving at a much slower speed, so it's stopping and slowing down. So, there are several ways in which you can make this work, right? I'm going to hit cruise control at maybe, say, 50 or 60, right? Because honestly, that's a more doable speed. It has detected that there's an object ahead. And there you go. Even though I've set cruise control at 60, it is slowing down because of the gentleman ahead of me. Even if I go a little ahead, just switching lanes out there, and also to show you, if you put cruise control on and override and then you have active lane keep assist. And I, you have to keep your hands on the wheel, but I'll just show you, even if I loosen it a bit. And there you go. It's gone and corrected itself. That's literally the XUV700 doing it by itself. But you shouldn't leave the steering wheel. You should keep your hands there. It does ensure that you are following well, and obeying traffic rules, and more importantly, that you are staying safe. Add to that drowsiness detection of the driver, what your attention levels are, and the car is honestly showing you how automation can genuinely keep you, well, a notch above when you're talking about driver safety. So right now, let me set the cruise control at, say, 60 kilometers per hour. There's no car in my lane, so I'm all right, but I've kept my foot on the brake. But the minute someone tries to get a little over smart and gets into my lane, this car is then adjusting to the car ahead of us. And I think that's exactly what we want to see when we're talking about technology, making this whole process so much smoother, so much safer. And you look right over there and the car is slowing down by itself because it's detected that that car is too close. So let's come down to your 59, or in this case, 60 kilometers per hour maximum and stay in your lane. If we were to increase this speed, maybe to 70, 75, the car is again in active mode. So it's all right. So if you were smart, you would use this feature to your advantage and use it responsibly. People have been doing it wrong on social media, but currently the car has got active lane keep assist on and cruise control on. So if you see cruise control on this lane, it's on 60 kilometers per hour and you could genuinely leave the wheel, but you shouldn't. Keep your hands on the wheel, stay alert. My foot is off the pedal. And at this point, I'm not even pressing the accelerator. The car is moving on its own, but I'm alert, I'm on the wheel and I'm not doing anything silly on social media. This is a public service announcement. I'm pressing the brake right now just to be on the safe side, but I don't need to because the car technically understands that there is well a vehicle ahead as well and that is absolutely stellar implementation of technology so there you have it adas explained in truly tech today style a technology which a lot of people have been a little anxious about and a little uncomfortable with because of all the myths surrounding this technology but honestly my personal take is you must embrace it, experiment with it. We should be proud of the fact that a made in India brand is giving you this technology 
in such a polished form, in all its splendor. ARAS is a technology that we can learn a lot from. It can really augment our driving experience, make it a lot safer, especially when we're with families, and it helps when you have a safety rating like some of these cars. But I think that as the levels evolve, because right now we're at level two, level three, level four, regulations come into place, it's a lot like any other disruptive or emerging tech. AI seems to be the buzzword of the year, and honestly, AI is used a lot when we're talking about ADAS and automation. And even with AI, people are worried about ChatGPT and Google Bar taking away their jobs. If you embrace it, understand how to use AI to your advantage, you can genuinely make your life a whole lot better and easier to really get by. Similarly, with ADAS, when you're driving, be it an EV or one of these beasts, in fact, this one is a beauty and a beast, the XUV700, then you can actually utilize this technology to its full potential. And if your friends and family are approaching it with a bit of trepidation or they're not entirely sure about it, then share this video with them and tell them to tune in to your favorite technology show, Tech Today. I'm your host, Ayush Alwadi, and I'll see you in the next one. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.